Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my back to school makeup and of course this is more so for college students since they are starting up their spring semester again very very soon. I myself am going back to school again too. I'm going to go ahead and get my credentials now. I just got my bachelor's in May and um, so now I'm going back to school for my credentials which is very exciting. A little bit, you know, scary because it is sort of a career change yeah. but nonetheless I'm very happy with my choice. I get to be a little bit more creative in this new path, and um, I think that's the core of my being, just being able to do my own thing, do a little bit of everything, and be creative at the same time. So, excited for the new things that I have planned. But anyways, this is just one idea of a quick makeup look that you can wear to school if you wanna look put together, not look like you just rolled out of bed. But of course, you don't have to be going back to school to wear this look, it's just nice, simple fresh looking a great everyday look even a work appropriate for those of you that work in an office setting and don't like to wear as much makeup to work so if you want to see how i did this look then stay right there don't move and keep on watching so the first thing that i'm doing is just moisturizing my face with the neutrogena hydro boost water gel looks like this in the blue container I mentioned it before it's my favorite moisturizer of all time it just sinks into the skin so so quickly I just put it everywhere. It's hyaluronic acid. You need hyaluronic acid in your skincare. Essential. Okay. Now from here what I used to do for school is not wear foundation and just skip to concealer. But I'm in a different place in my life now where I want to try a little bit more to look presentable. You know, at school. Even if it takes me a little longer to get ready. I don't care. You know, I'm going back for my credentials for teaching. I think I could spare a couple extra minutes getting ready for school. So, um, I am doing a career change, by the way. <laughs> for those of you guys who don't know, I did graduate already with a bachelor's in something totally different. I did health administration and human resources. Um, and I like the administration part of that and the leadership and all that, but I don't like that it's not a very creative field, and I'm sort of a very creative person. So... I think teaching would be perfect because you're also somewhat of a leader and you get to implement more creative options whereas in the healthcare system it's very bureaucratic so you depend on the rules that are already in place you know health standards and what have you anyway but for foundation today I'm using the Maybelline Dewy Smooth Fit Me Foundation and I'm using the color 125 which I think it's a little light for me. Mm. We'll see. So this is my second time using this and I still haven't formed an opinion on it. It is very dewy. I do feel like I have to set my under eye area with it. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. Because the CoverGirl one, I don't have to set it and it stays in place all day long. Actually it looks like a pretty good match, right? Does it look like a good match for me? I think it does. I like it. It's not as much coverage as the CoverGirl. The CoverGirl gives me like a super smooth, even complexion. It covers up my smallest, um, where are these beauty marks? Freckles. Here. So it completely melts into the skin pretty nicely. I mean, it just looks like normal skin. Let's do a little zoom in here. Do you see it? It just looks like normal skin. Does it cover up my pores? It's like a natural looking foundation for sure. Like it just looks like my skin. It does. I never notice my pores and my cheek area here. And I'm noticing that a little bit more right now. Let's see what happens with another layer. I mean, I'm happy with this coverage. Like, I would totally wear this coverage to school. But I just want to see if it is able to fill in any pores, if it layers. See if we can cover that up. Don't really have anything else to cover, though. Yeah, so that second layer made it look a little gunky, didn't it? Okay, so definitely just one sheer layer is better than two. 
Um, I feel like the second layer sort of is emphasizing texture on my skin. And by texture, I mean like pores and, you know, blackheads or whatever, like this here around my nose. I was much happier with the one layer. Like you could see like right here on my face where I have the one layer below. It looks so much more smooth than up here with the two layers. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. So I'm just gonna let the foundation sit for a minute and see if it sort of sinks into the skin again and just makes it look like normal skin. Okay, so I'm not gonna zoom in on my eyebrows, but um, I'm just gonna speed through it. But I am using the NYX Tame and Frame in the color Espresso. And to apply it, I'm using the Sigma Small Angle E65 brush, and I really do like this brush because it's like super thin, so it helps me be sharp and precise on my eyebrows. So. Then of course, you guys know I'm taking the color Vanilla by MAC. I'm just going to set everything on my eyes, aka the concealer or foundation that I put on it. So I'm going to go ahead and set below my brow. And then go ahead and take it all over the lid as well. I'm actually going to pack it on quite a bit on the lid and the inner corner because this is all I'm gonna do for shadow. Next I'm gonna take Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. Same brush, nice fluffy crown brush. And then I'm just gonna run this in the crease um, and above the crease. Just windshield wiper that in. Um, so now in the crease, I'm going to go in with Saddle by MAC. Um, if you prefer to use like Makeup Geek eyeshadows, uh, I think Latte would be a good one. Latte is slightly cooler than Saddle. You can see right here. But, I mean, I think they're pretty close. I think you would get the same effect on the eyes. But I'm going to go in with Saddle because that's my absolute favorite crease color. I'm just going in with a little bit more peach smoothie just to blend out the edges out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take vanilla. Not same brush because I'm being lazy. And just sweep it onto the lid again. I do have glue residue on this eye, by the way, from my lashes last night, so don't mind that. That's just going to be there for a couple days. Okay, that's pretty much it for eyeshadows. I'm going to pop on my lashes. The ones that I'm using are the Double Demi Wispies by Ardell. Okay, so now that the lashes are on, I'm just going to coat my lashes with a little bit of mascara just to marry them together. If you want to go ahead and put some black liner on, that's fine. Usually for like a casual day. And for, you know, a place where I don't necessarily need to be glam, I skip the eyeliner. 
just to tone the look down a little bit and the lashes are already so dramatic I don't think you need the liner of course you can also do no lashes with this look and just put on the mascara that would be even more comfortable and perfect but like I said this this time around I'm ready to look a little extra for school you know I don't mind I'm going in with the fit me Maybelline concealer in shade 20 under my eyes it's not quite as bright and um, full coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape. <gasps> Do you see these lines? Oh, God. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. Also, I was commenting to myself while I was applying the lashes that um, now that, this, that the foundation has sunk in a little bit more, it does look just as good as with only one layer. So there's that. So it does take a little time for it to like sink in and just settle and then it does look like skin basically. But I do recommend a primer, like a pore filling primer if you do have larger pores in this area like me. So with this foundation, I would probably have to use a primer, which I usually don't but primer. All right, next I'm just gonna go ahead and set under my under eyes because this concealer, it's a little bit more thinner consistency, more hydrating formula that can move a little bit easier than the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that with my e.l.f. HD powder. Just a little bit right under here. All right, then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush. And I'm using the Milani Rose Blush. Or is it Classic Rose? All right, next I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off with a little bit of highlight. And I'm using Fuego Dose of Colors and a fan brush by ColourPop. I'm gonna wiggle that in there. Apply some highlight here. Some highlight here. And down my nose, on my bridge, and the tip right in there. I'm not going to contour today. I really want to, but I'm not going to. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm not going to go with any shadow under the lower lash line, just to keep it nice, bright, and open. Uh, for lips, I'm just going to go in with a tinted gloss. This one is by NYX. Really old gloss. I don't know what the name of it. It's rubbed off, but it's like a nice pinky nude. Basically where I live. You don't cover it, Brenda? Okay? Yeah. Can cover? Yeah. Yeah. Turn it off. Why? <laughs> Alright, so that's the finished look for today. I hope you guys like it. It's nice and fresh. Nice wide eyes, makes you look awake, put together, but not like you're overly trying and overly glam just for class. I think that the lashes give it a little extra oomph, you know, really emphasize the eyes. They're nice and fluffy, and I really like the style of lash with like a nice, simple, fresh face makeup. So, hope you guys like it too. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did, and as always, remember that wherever you go and whatever you do, always leave your mark.